Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm here today with some tips for making drugstore makeup look luxe. Now, in this video, I'm not going to talk about any particular products. If you're interested in the products that I'm using today, just go to the description section of my video, and I'll have all the links and products listed. Now, the first thing that I do before I apply any foundation is make sure that I use a moisturizer. Your foundation of your skin is important before you apply foundation. And I find that makeup can look really cakey or you might have dry patches and that will make your makeup look very cheap. So having moisturized skin is the most important thing for before you begin doing any of your makeup. Also, you want your lips to feel great. I put a lip sleeping mask on my lips to keep them hydrated and moisturized. I always make sure and sleep with one. So when I wake up in the morning to do my makeup, my lips are plump, the lines aren't as obvious, and my lips look more youthful. Then I start in with my foundation. And I think the main thing about drugstore foundation is it can look cakey. So one thing that I have done that's different is I have gotten this piece of glass. Now Scott Barnes has a piece of glass that is so much more than this. This was so inexpensive. And I just apply my foundation on here and you can see I have so much left. I actually like to use a dropper because I use so little now. So this little piece of glass is saving me a lot of money. Also, I like to mix foundations. I find that most people do not fit perfectly and have a match at the drugstore or even at high, in high-end makeup. I have tried high-end foundation and I found that a lot of times they don't have my match either and I need to buy two shades. Now the two shades that I purchased, I mixed together and then I like to apply it with a sponge. I have very sensitive skin and I've had a bout of rosacea. So I am finding that the sponge is my BFF and I go very lightly with it and start with a very thin application and build from there. The thinner the better because if your makeup is very thick, it's going to look cakey and then it's going to look very cheap. Concealers can be one of the biggest wastes of money when it comes to makeup. They are so expensive if you think about the little amount of product you're getting. And for a mature woman, I'm 55 years old, they can just look horrible on our skin. So what I have found is that I love applying a brightener instead of a concealer. And I apply the brightener on my eye with a brush. Now I love this one, the Sigma brush. Any brush you have that is flat, where you can sort of pounce and push it in. You want to use a very thin layer of this. I also use it in the inner corner. As you can see, I have very deep set eyes. So this is the area that tends to get dark and on the outside of the eye. So I just make sure to use the brightener there and I bring my foundation up with the sponge underneath the lash and just very lightly tap until it sort of melts right into my skin. And by keeping that area hydrated with moisturizer and then a damp sponge and just using very little product there, I feel I can get the coverage without the cakey look. One of the most important things when you're doing your brows to make them look expensive and luxe is to blend. You have to really blend whatever product you're using. Also, I recommend starting when you're applying your brow product at the outer corner. We tend to get too much on our brush sometimes, and if you do that at the front, it can give you a very Groucho Marx look. I think that's one thing people think of when they think of the drugstore is these really heavy brows. I believe a natural brow leads to uh, looking at the most important thing, your eyes. The brows are just a frame. So we just want to shade them lightly without overdoing them to give you a very polished look. Most people think of drugstore shadow is sort of one dimensional and that Lux has this look to it of iridescence and just interest. So I feel that at the drugstore, there are a lot of great options that can look Lux. To keep that look, that Lux look, you want to use a matte shadow in the crease. I start with that and sort of blend that and buff that out, blow that out till I get a polished look, and then I go in on the lid. And the thing that I found that lasts the longest and looks the most luxurious is using a cream shadow. I like to pop it on the lid and then add a matte on the outer corner so that it just gives you a very polished and put together look. 
One thing I've learned this year is brushes are so important to your makeup look and they can take drugstore makeup up to the next level. Now at the end of last year, Sigma sent me these Practic brushes and I've been using them all year. So I just wanted to share a little of my experience with you. First of all, all these brushes are less than $10 a piece. And let me tell you, they hold up. I have washed them at least twice a week all year, sometimes more than that, depending on what I'm doing. And they're soft, they uh, don't lose hair, they've held up. And I just think for the blending, for what I need for makeup, these have just been perfect. Two tips I have for applying bronzer and blush are wear them lightly and wear them higher on the cheeks than you would think. I apply my bronzer way up here. I start in the hairline because you tend to get a little more on your brush when you're first starting. So I start here and come down and I don't go past about this line right here. I do not go into the apple of the cheeks. Anytime I do that, it makes my face look like it's drooping. So I want a lifted look. So I apply it way up here and my blush way up here. And as you uh, just go through your day and humidity, I'm here in Florida, the blush tends to move a little bit anyway and migrate a little lower in the face. So I really feel that applying it higher up to start with will give you a lifted look and also a beautiful luxe look by not applying too much product. A lot of us that are mature have trouble with applying lip liner. Our hands might be a little shaky or it's hard for us to see her lip line. What I like to do is the reverse of most people. I like to fill in my lip with my lipstick first and then trace around the edge with the lip liner. It helps me to match the lip liner to the lipstick better because I can see how much pressure I've applied and I don't want to have an outline of a lip around my mouth. So that helps a lot. It also smooths out the lipstick. You don't have to be so perfect with applying your lipstick. And I just think it gives you a very polished look that looks expensive. The winner of last week's giveaway of the Flower Highlighter Palette is listed in the first pinned comment. Congratulations, and I hope everyone will give her a thumbs up. Also this week, I have a ton of masks and a great exfoliator that I love. It's a coffee exfoliating scrub. So if you will just leave me a comment, maybe a beauty tip you have or something you enjoyed from this video. Thanks so much for watching.